said the highly palatable and nutritious forage has shown the potential of significantly increasing livestock productivity with farmers reporting 15 to 40 percent more milk compared to other local fodder such as napier grass. Our reporter Paul Tiongo with more. Any livestock farmer, and especially those practicing dairy farming, will attest that feed account for 60% of the total cost of production. However, the lack of suitable forage options that are better adapted and resilient to climate change and emerging pests and diseases contribute to low productivity. Sana. Hata ukipatia, uwezi pata maziwa megi. Lakini, hii inaiweka hapa, ikauke, hapa ni kibada changu. Hii chakueka kire, kama kitu, kama nyasi, kama napia grass, ikauke. Hii inayazima ikauke iwe kama hii, ni ipatia ngombe. Kwa sababu ikipatia ngombe ikiwa na, ikiwa na muna hii, 80% is water. Hata hiyo brachiria, inazima ukikatakata iwe ime dry, iwe dry kabisa. Ikiwa dry, inapatia ngobe, uh, in ku, ngobe itakuwa na vya nyigi na itatoa maziwa megi. Kwa sababu ni kujentia, ya na brachiria ni nyingi kuliko hile hiko kwa napia glass. The four registered brachiria cultivars include Toledo, Piata, MG4 and Basilic and are now known as Eurocloa. We know brachiria is native uh, to Kenya. In Kenya, we have that is three species. All over the world, we have 100 species. But in Kenya, we have identified that three species. Why do you want to grow brachiria? Because it's climate smart. It's climate smart uh, because it's able to mitigate the three major greenhouses gases. The first one is carbon dioxide. Brachiria is able to sequester carbon dioxide into the soil. The other aspect is that Brachiria is highly nutritious, so animal feeding on it do not produce a lot of methane. The third aspect of brachiria, it reduces loss of nitrogen from the soil and converts it to a form that is not lost, to a nitrate which is not lost. So it's able to mitigate the nitrous oxide within the soil. Kyle Rose's research team have been scaling up Eurocloa grass targeting mainly dairy farmers. According to the Director General, Dr. Eliud Kiregel, 60,000 to 80,000 smallholder farmers have benefited from the grass. Rose hay is the most common, Rose grass hay, which was also developed by Kyle Rose. Um, you will buy it from between 200 to 350 shillings per bale. And one dairy cow will take at least one bale a day. The crude protein in Rhodes grass is far much less than what you get in uh, Brachiria. So it means you, you, you buy the Rhodes hay and then you buy uh, dairy meal supplements, which becomes expensive. But with the Brachiria, you use far much less uh, supplements because the crude protein is high. We had planted other varieties, but I think we found this grass is very, in terms of volumes, in a very short, small area or small acreage, you are going to get volumes that are necessary for feeding the cows. Yeah, we have increased our animals slightly because we are not going very fast, but at least we have increased in terms of the animals and also production of milk. Uh, we started below 10 liters a cow, but now we are over at, at 20, some of the well-doing cows. Eurocloa consists of over 1,000 species distributed in the tropics and subtropic regions of Africa. Field evaluations of the grasses were conducted in four regions with distinct agroecological zones covering coastal lowlands, mid-altitude eastern regions, central highlands and western Kenya. Calro is continuing to conduct research on the grass to determine the best regions for viable commercial seed production for the released cultivars. In the meantime, the grass can be propagated vegetatively through root splits. But we are now going to concentrate on seed production, which farmers now can be able to plant and mass. Because uh, planting using splits like the napier grass is a bit difficult. And also, 
before the, 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 the release officially by KFIS, which was done on the 9th, we could not spread so much of the farmers. So those were farmers who were participating in our research, participatory research, about, about 80,000. But you see farmers, if something is good, when they see it, even before you release it officially, they will take it and plant it. They'll take it and plant it. So we expect that now after the release and the popularization, the demand will be very high and we expect that the farmers will be able to plant in a good number. Paul Thiongo, KTN News.